Imagine building a city for over 600,000 people in less than six months. We are currently in a Rohingya refugee settlement in Bangladesh. In this main settlement, there are over 600,000 Rohingyas living here. I have now been in Bangladesh for a total of six months on an extended emergency mission from the Jordan operation where I'm usually based. I'm an architect. I advise on shelter design and site planning. Here in Bangladesh, we are in a state of emergency. It's a level three crisis for UNHCR. Site planning in an emergency context is mapping out where to put the shelters, where to put the emergency latrines, roads, footpaths, bridges, access. It is an exercise in town planning. The average refugee camp is alive for 17 to 20 years. There are so many refugees all around the world who are unfortunately unable to return home for decades. Often in refugee contexts and crises, the operation is dynamic and fluid and it changes. So no site plan that you produce will ever become a concrete blueprint. You need to have flexibility and a way to adapt to the conditions that will change on the ground. We are ramping up the response in preparation for the monsoon season. We know roughly the numbers of households that could be at risk of landslide and flooding. These numbers are very high. We are now determining who we need to prioritise for pre-monsoon relocations. We've recently been given an expansion area of approximately 800 acres and we've got 26 pieces of heavy machinery out there right now, every single day, trying to prepare that land so that we can then build on it to a site plan. The AutoCAD Civil 3D software is great because it enables you to do quite a lot of analysis as well, which we are now basing a lot of our pre-monsoon contingency planning on. People have been living in these settlements for several months now. You are seeing some stability forming, which is really encouraging. <laughs> seeing laughter and joy on people's faces is incredibly rewarding. I've recently learnt that I will actually be deployed to Kampala in Uganda to respond to the emergency there. Because I have been working with AutoCAD Civil 3D on a daily basis here, I will be able to take those CAD skills and transfer them to Uganda. Camps evolve and they grow and they change and they form over time, but it is a constant design challenge in the sense that there is always work to be done to maintain and or improve the living conditions for the people that are there. Shelter is the tangible, physical core component of protection. And shelter doesn't just come out of thin air. You need people with qualifications and skills to be able to produce the designs and the site planning behind that. I believe that architects, designers around the world also have the capacity to contribute in these contexts.